Good evening, everyone. T Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XM and Future Digibyte. Oh, gee. So, this is a slight little retrace we were talking about earlier. Um, nothing big, nothing more, nothing less. Bitcoin had to do this, it had to retest the old breakout point, and from what I can see, it looks fine. Um, I'm waiting for these waves to complete so that we can get some pushes on XRP up to $1.40 minimum. You know, I'm looking for some big pushes here. I, I told you guys for days that I was waiting for my old buddy DGB to become a nice buy-in price and to where it was confluent with uphold. And I found a perfect spot. We had, just to be transparent to you guys, and I've been pointing to areas where I was looking at and I've been watching this uptrend. And the moment it was down on this uptrend, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't wait. Once it, I told everybody if it broke four and a, or five cents again and gave me the opportunity under five cents, I was taking it. And down here, when I was at Julie's doctor's appointment, it had hit it. And I didn't see it originally. I think it was like, it was sometime. Yeah, it was early. And then it came up and we're coming through the day. And it, right here, right here, it gave me one last chance, and I went after it. At 4981, when I seen it, I was like, you know what? I said if it was under five cents, because it had come up here and had a little bit of a push up, and I was watching it. And right when it hit this, I mean, right when it hit this, I bought 70,000 uh, DGB. And it didn't, it wasn't that bad. The fees, honestly, <clears throat> I'm not disappointed at all. Because even with everything said, I'm looking at it and I've, it's already eaten up what I was at. So, it's, I don't know why it says plus 5%. There's no way it's plus 5%. But I know it's eaten up the fees, so that's all I care about. It just said plus 1.8% when I was on. Before I came on. But I don't even care where it goes. I have no stop loss, to be honest with you, with DGB right now. Because I'm waiting... For the waves uh for some of these altcoins and look at it my uh the old our old buddy dgb it's bounced this up trend and i'm just look at this w that formed as well i'm just waiting nothing can get me to sell this i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna wait it out and i believe we're looking pretty comfortably i mean even to the top of this uptrend if we topped out just to here and got rejected and I don't expect that at all. I, I expect this to go way higher because we've got some places now with DGB that we're going to be able to touch. So if you go from there. I mean, just from where I bought it, just to the top of here, though, at 5.7 is 16%. You know, up to this line is 17%. But, guys, I really believe DGB, and I, I'm a long holder of DGB once I buy it. So I won't be selling DGB until it finishes off this move all the way up at 70 minimum. And then we'll see how the market's doing. But I firmly believe DGB's got a date with 78. And I firmly believe this is where uh, one of my big moves is going to come in my portfolio once again. And I believe this potential is real. And I think it's going to get up there. And it might even get higher. I don't know the biggest move it can make. But I know it's coming up. And finishing a few of these and I have no reason to even fear this move because I really believe in DGB and I've been waiting and it was the perfect opportunity and like I said my fees weren't terrible they got eaten up so I was a very happy man the only thing I did notice with DGB and with uphold and other ones is even when the prices go down you're not guaranteed to get more shares if it's a close amount what I mean by that is when I first started watching it yesterday it was at like 5-1 and it wanted to give me so many shares. And then when it was at 506, it was giving me less shares. And I was getting pissed. You have to find the right combination. And there were so many weird moments. But then at 4986, I said, and I did it a couple times. And at first, it's 69,800, 69,700, 69,900. And Julie's like, why don't you just buy it? I'm like, because I think I should get 70,000 minimum out of this. And it got just over 70000 So I was like, see, I told you. And it changed, you know, my fee. You know, it changed how much I have to pay. But I don't even care. At this point, 
looking at the chart, knowing what I know about DGB, this thing is ready to fucking explode. Last time Bitcoin was near these levels, DG, forget how high XRP was, DGB was at 18 cents. And now Bitcoin's over its all-time highs. So we're going to get some money that flows into the altcoins. I have no doubt about it. I still believe there's going to be a big rug pull. But like I said, when it's bullish moments, I'm not going to talk about big crash. It, it would be a disservice to everybody who's in a position and is getting ready to make some money. Because right now is when you have to hold firm and you have to understand what you're seeing in front of you. And we're about to have the altcoin wave and it's going to be something beautiful. You know, if you're in a position, I'm not saying XRP is going to $50 or even $1.90. I'm saying $1.40, you should have your, there's no reason to be swing trading it right now, period. Anything you're in, there's no reason to swing trade for the next few days, few weeks, until we start capitalizing on these moments. We're at a moment right now where we can't really uh, duplicate and... We're going to get going soon. I'm telling you guys, those closes are what we were waiting for. And XRP now, let's look at the XRP chart. XRP is getting ready, ladies and gentlemen. It created that W. And even though it had fallen out of that uptrend, this newly formed symmetrical triangle, it hit it beautifully. Not even symmetrical, but it did like a pennant. But it broke out of it. We already had broke down in the continuation. And then we found a new uptrend and look how it bounced out. Now it's coming back into the old uptrend. So that was a fake out to the downside. And you can see a W reversal with the slightly descending right side of the W forming. So that 93 cents, we may have to wait for because if this forms this W, you know, there's not, it ain't going to 93 cents from here. That was the scenario if we didn't hold $1.08, which we did. We never uh, finished a daily under $1.08. So, now there's really no reason to have this uh, scenario. It would have been a nice one to play out, but, you know, when it ends, it ends. <clears throat> we never broke the dollar eight, so that scenario never even came into play. That was a scenario that came into play if a dollar eight was broken on the daily. And we did everything we could to stay over a dollar eight. And that's why I said I would not sell XRP right now. I wouldn't sell anything. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't sell right now. Despite if you think it's going down, if you're already in a position, even if you're not, when you start hitting some of these points, like XRP held that dollar 13. So if you're a fan of XRP, look at this W reversal that's hanging right here. You can be objective all you want, but then you got to look at what's in front of you. So you can call me the crypto bear all you want or whatever you want to call me, but I know what I'm looking at. And this looks like we've got some big reversals that have formed now. So, and like I said, DGB, perfect opportunity right here. And it's even retracing a little, oh, maybe not. Um, Zill, good opportunity. These are all at the bottom right now. V-Chain started to push up a little bit, but it's in that uptrend. So it's slightly different. But Zill is a great opportunity. I would have went with Zill, like I said. But when I was looking at it earlier, when I was talking about the swing trade, I was also looking at DGB. And in the time frames, you guys see what happened with Zill. It never came back down and retouched all day. Never did. There was never an opportunity at all for me to do what I wanted to do, like I was telling you guys. But DGB presented the opportunity that I've spoke up as well. And it was beautiful. Getting it at 4982, I feel like I stole it. I feel like I stole DGB. Because I'm already up right now. Even with the fees, I'm almost up 200 bucks. So I feel good right now because DGB is where my heart is. It is with XRP too, but in this particular moment, I had a choice to make and I went with what I thought was the right move for me. Because I don't have to worry about needing to sell it. I'm just going to hold it. Until we finish whatever we're about to do here. So if you're an XRP, XLM, like I've been saying, don't sell them right now. But if it invalidated itself and it broke that dollar eight on a close, well, then you have to make a decision. And everybody asked me when I would sell XRP and I said, not until it breaks a dollar. Because if it's going to 93 cents, at least if it breaks a dollar or not a dollar, I said, if it breaks a dollar six, that's when you sell. And then a dollar one, you have to make a decision if it would have went down there. But every day is a new day in the market. <clears throat> and if you're not willing to adapt, you're going to get left behind. So I still believe we're going to be ultra rug pull at the end of this. 
But like I tell you every single time, there's no reason to wait for that rug pull and not get profits if they're there. We don't know what's going to happen with Bitcoin. I knew this retrace was going to happen because you have to. You have to retest the whole areas. But look at the altcoins, guys. They're ready. The altcoins are getting ready. They're at such low levels. XRP starting to lead the way a little bit. You know, and we have to be patient. Like I've been telling you with XRP, the time is now. Not for the ultimate, we're going to all-time highs, but the time is now to possibly make it up to 140. And then if we can break 141, then we can start pushing that 150 possibly. But it's going to be, we could even push the season high. We don't know. The point is, is you got to find it where you can. And right now, as you've made many opportunities to ride XRP along the way, this is just another one where we were talking about it at $1.08. If it held that, that's the buy-in spot. There's other things you can buy as well. Like, you know, I bought 70,000 uh, DGB. Not $70,000, but 70,000 DGB. So, I've given you multiple opportunities here today. Make an informed and educated decision because XRP is getting ready to move. And I believe XRP, like I've been saying, is getting ready. It's got to hit $1.41. It's got to hit $1.41. It doesn't matter. I just know it has to hit $1.41. It has to. This pattern has to be completed. It didn't pull down as far as 93 cents. It only got down to a dollar one. But it's got it. It still remains the same. We've got to get over to a dollar 41, in my opinion, to finish this pattern. At least to finish to the next part of the pattern. It can continue up after that, but to finish this inverted head and shoulders right here, this has to go to a dollar 41. It's just that simple. So what this ends up being is that was a fake wick down to a dollar one. And we came back up to true support. And now we held the dollar thirteen. Dollar eight ended up being true support through all of this. And we already knew that on the uptrend. So put everything you've found and seen and everything I've said, because I'm not a financial advisor. Should you take my advice on DGB or XRP or think it's gonna go up right? No. No motherfucking way you should. But I do massage the charts, ladies and gentlemen. I get up real nice and close to the charts and I beg it and I tell it I look like a moron. Please, charts, please tell me what's going on. And today the charts say, Tom, you're on the right track, my bail. You're on the right track. So because I'm on the right track today and I feel like, you know, we could get up, we could be getting our balls tickled here shortly with these altcoins. And don't worry about this little retrace. This is normal. Because Bitcoin has to do this. But look at these patterns, ladies and gentlemen. Don't, don't be scared out of your money right now if you're holding. Because at this point, you know, unless we get a big wave down, but we're not going to. This is Bitcoin doing its thing. The altcoin's doing the little pull down. And just, like I said... You know where your money's at, you know what you're doing, and make the best educated and informed decision because at the end of the day, it's all we can do. But right now, you can see these W reversals on every single one of these patterns. One that I called out for you guys, and some of you made some money, and some of you are still making money. One that was just like these before was Fortuna. See that W reversal? We called that out right before it happened. Look at some of our, uh, at $3.89 was the buy alert. Now it's at four eighty two, two two weeks later. So, I mean, look at some of these. They're not hanging in the same way, but if you, if you look at these proper, well, actually, let me go to XRP. XRP is easier to see. But look at this. Even though it's on more of an uptrend, and that was on a downtrend, Fortuna, you can still see the hanging W, and this is going to play through. It had that they all had the closes they needed. That's the point. These all <clears throat> all closed where they needed to close. So watch Bitcoin. If you don't know what I'm talking about, how Bitcoin's retracing like we thought, go watch my last update. I'm gonna release this. This has already been a 15 minute video, but I'm fascinated with you know what can happen here. I'm also fascinated what's gonna happen at the top because it's gonna be something historic. But like I said. I'm not going to talk about it until we make some money here because, uh, like I've said, for the better part of the last two weeks, if you're an XRP and it doesn't break these levels, then the dollar one would have been a great pickup. 
That's why that dollar twelve sell off was so important for anybody who was looking to get an XRP. So stay blessed, everybody. Make sure to hit that motherfucking like button. I know I've been talking a lot, but I think this is uh, when I'm at my best when we just talk to try to understand what's going on in front of us. And then if you knew a return, you hit that subscribe button. Oh yes, I have not forgotten. Hit that subscribe button. We just went over 3,900 subscribers. And honestly, guys, I feel blessed. 3,900 subscribers for old pale Tom. Only 100 away. Less than 100 from 4,000. Your old pale Tom can't believe it.